Another type of input in Unity is an axis. Whilst we looked at axes before when we looked at the project settings input, we can see here that jump, which we looked at before, is actually a key or mouse button. But if we look at horizontal and vertical, it's also a key and it's the X axis. So when we want to refer to the left and right keys in Unity defaulted to left and right or A and D on the keyboard, what we're actually referring to is a horizontal axis. So instead of get button, we use the get axis command. So let's have a look at that. If we create a new JavaScript, I'm just going to call this get axis and launch it. Again, it's something that has to go into the update function because it needs to be checked all the time. So I'm just going to create a variable that outputs to the console to check if this is working. So I might call this var horiz for horizontal and it outputs a floating point number. So floating point variable is just a number with a decimal place. And I set that equal to input dot get axis brackets horizontal. So remember that capital H is important because that's the way it's spelled in the input settings. Then I want to take that variable and put it into the console. So I'll say debug.log and then put the name of the variable in there, horiz. So if I save that, go back to Unity and apply that script to an empty game object that I've got in the scene. When I press play and have a look at the bottom of the screen, if I hold down the right axis, it counts up to a value of one. When I let go, it counts back to zero. When I hold the left key on the keyboard, it counts down to minus one, and letting go of the key counts back up to zero. So that's the way it works. It's from a value of minus one to positive one. So let's have a look at how we can actually get that to do something. So as well as outputting to the console, I might want to get it to control an object. So I might say transform.translate and then into that I'll say vector 3 and in the first axis I'm going to put in the name of that variable in the y axis a value of 0 and in the z axis a value of 0 and finish that off. So that's going to be controlled by whatever value is currently given to us by the horizontal axis. So if that's a value, if I'm holding the left key it's going to give me a value of minus 1 for that. If I hold the right key positive one. So if I save that script and go back to Unity and select the game object so that I can see the axis handles you'll need the transform tool on to see that and then press play. If I hold down the right key or if I tap the right key it goes up to one. So it's moving at one unit of frame so that's actually quite fast. I'd need to uh, multiply that by a lower value than one to get you get it to slow it down. But that's the basic use of input.getAxis in Unity.